Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of John Matrix Talks Movies. Today, we will talk about the state of Star Wars. Now, Disney CEO Bob Iger, and of course, Disney is the parent company of Lucasfilm and in control of all things Star Wars, he's taking the blame pretty much for the state of Star Wars right now. Now, honestly, true, he is the CEO of Disney and in control of everything. But I really don't think he should be taking all, all of the blame. Now, this is what he said. I'm going to read a quote from that. what he said. I made the timing decision. And as I look back, I think the mistake that I made, I take the blame, was a little too much, too fast. You can expect some slowdown, but that doesn't mean we're not going to make films. J.J. Abrams is busy making Episode 9. We have creative entities, including Game of Thrones creators David Binoff and D.B. Weiss, who are developing sagas of their own, which we haven't been specific about. And we are just at that point where we're going to start making decisions about what comes next after J.J.'s. But I think we're going to be a little bit more careful about volume and timing and the buck stops here on that. Now, I disagree about what Bob Iger said. It's not a volume issue. Look at the MCU. All of the Marvel Avengers movies and the other movies tied into that. They have put out way more stuff than Star Wars. They had Black Panther come out two months before Infinity War. It's not a volume problem. It's a qual quality product problem. And Star Wars is not putting out quality products. Now, of course, I didn't like The Force Awakens, but it was well received. From that, Rogue One. I like that movie, well received. The Last Jedi came out, that's where the major problem started. It wasn't a timing issue, it was a quality of product issue. That movie was horrible. Solo is paid the price for The Last Jedi. It just has. So if you put out two Star Wars movies a year, I really do believe the fans would be absolutely excited. I would be too, if the product is good. That is the problem. I don't understand why Disney thinks it's a volume problem. It's a, if it's a volume problem, then stop putting out uh, one or two MCU movies every year. I think they're lying. I think he knows the truth, that the product is bad. And he's taking the blame for Kathleen Kennedy. Actually, speaking of, you would think that this would be a statement that Kathleen Kennedy would be making as the president of Lucasfilm. All you hear is crickets. You hear nothing. Also, he didn't, he didn't even mention Ryan Johnson having his trilogy. That thing is not happening. <laughs> I think he really would have addressed the Ryan Johnson trilogy here. And he said they're just going to take a step back and think about what they're going to do after episode 9. So we know for a fact that the Game of Thrones guys, their movies are happening. Crickets again on Ryan Johnson. So this just leads me to believe even more that Kathleen Kennedy is gone. The CEO of Disney should not have to come out and make a statement like that and fall on the sword for the sins of Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson. He made sure to not mention those two people's names. I think he knows that the, uh, the state of Star Wars 
is in really, really bad shape. So I don't know why he's taking the blame. I guess it's easy for him to take the blame because everybody knows that he's not really at fault. And also, he's going to be leaving uh, Disney anyway in like 2021. So episode nine comes out next December. Then the Game of Thrones guys are going to do that thing, I believe, after that. So I don't know why he's taking the fall. It's not his fault. It is not his fault. Because we know that Bob Iger is a good, actually a great CEO. Just look at the MCU. The MCU was nothing. None of those characters were super popular. And it is safe to say that the MCU now is way more popular than Star Wars. I never thought I would see that day happen. That day has arrived. Sad, sad state for Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy's gone. Ryan Johnson is gone. I just wish that they would actually just come out and say it. It is over for them. <laughs> it is. Just say it. Just come out and say it. Let me know what you guys think of this. Leave a comment. If you're new here to the channel, please subscribe for more videos. John Matrix, out.